Thank you for joining us. Today we have a short guide to what makes the complete thermal battery in Perth. Before we get into thermal batteries, let us first cover solar power basics in Perth. This is our daily timeline from when we wake up to the left of the line, to lunchtime in the middle, ending on the right when we go to bed. The gold line is our solar power generation, also called photovoltaics or PV for short. The electrical use is shown with a blue line. Yes, this would be typically all over the place in a normal household, but to explain the concept, a straight line is easy, right? When the solar power is not generating, you are paying approximately 30 cents per unit of electricity. This would of course be typical during the early morning, evening and at night. This is the best bit now, solar power, the gold solid block gives you absolutely free electricity. The solid blue is the power utilities actually offering you a token gesture of approximately eight cents per unit if you don't use your solar power. In essence, you are being encouraged to use more electricity from your solar power and less in the evening, nighttime and morning. This important concept is how you will get the best payback or investment return on your solar power system here in Perth. Now let us get back to the concept of a thermal battery and our daily timeline again. Most households use the majority of hot water for showers or bathing, typically in the morning and evening. The orange line shows thermal energy demand, or more simply put, your consumption of hot water in the bathroom. Conventional storage hot water systems, be it gas or electric, will have a small amount of hot water stored. These are on duty to reheat as needed. They do not have the best insulation and they kick in throughout the day to keep the tank warm. This is demonstrated in green in our illustrative example. Let us now overlay our solar power system using the same gold line. Imagine an electric hot water system that only operates during the day using this completely free solar power you have available. Well, you have it. This is the basic concept of a thermal battery. The first of three requirements for a complete thermal battery is timed control. This is where you take control over the electric system so it heats only during daylight hours. Now we have the concept of a basic thermal battery. Let's think about size. In this example shows the problem with undersizing the storage tank volume. You can see energy will need to be bought from the grid to keep up with demand. Or the alternative would be someone having a cold shower. I'm sure you agree, this is not what anyone wants. This brings us to the second of three requirements for the complete thermal battery. The size of the thermal battery must be larger than the consumption of thermal energy. Whoa, that sounds too much like physics. Let's put this more simply. The liters of hot water of the tank must be greater than the daily use of hot water. Sounds pretty simple. The size of the tank must be greater than your daily use for the whole family. Let's return back to our illustrative example but consider what happens on overcast and rainy days. You guessed it, there is less sun translating to less solar power generation. Moreover, we use more hot water as let's face it, we all love a longer, hotter shower in winter. So our thermal energy consumption goes up, but solar power generation goes down. More draw from the grid is needed in this example. What is also generally underappreciated in households is that energy used for hot water is typically the largest consumer of energy. That's right, the energy used for hot water is normally greater than that for air conditioning. We have discussed attempts to utilize solar power, but in real case scenarios, there is a desire to have more electricity available for other household electrical appliances to run during the day. So now I ask you the big question, can you reduce the energy used for hot water? I don't expect you will want to reduce the time you have in the shower by say half or even a third. 
No, we don't, I hear you say. So let me introduce you to another concept. What about if we could more efficiently use the electricity to heat the water? It is possible to reduce the energy consumption for hot water generation by four to five times by utilizing air to energy technology. This technology, similar to air conditioning and design, is nothing new. The difference now is we are harnessing energy from the air to heat the water very efficiently. Your third, final and most important requirement for the complete thermal battery is the efficient use of energy. To summarize these concepts discussed, you probably purchased a solar power system to cover household use for as many electrical appliances as possible to ultimately reduce your bills. Many thermal battery systems on the market meet the requirements of time control and size of storage. But as you now know, to achieve the complete thermal battery solution, you need to maximize efficiency. You will achieve this with a thermal battery from Eureka. Our 10 years of experience in the market will help you to future-proof yourself against rising utility bills. Browse our options here on perthermalbattery.com.au by household size. We offer two ranges of products. The Ultra range have the air to energy technology separate from the tank to provide more thermal storage for larger demands. We look forward to hearing from you and get you saving more with Eureka, the hot water experts.